let me start off by telling you a very interesting fact in very very cold regions that is at the poles the north pole and the south pole which are present in the arctic and the antarctic there are certain people called the eskimos who live inside these structures these structures are known as igloos igloos are made of ice or snow now you will be surprised to learn that eskimos build these structures to protect themselves from the coldness of the region now this might baffle you that the igloos are being constructed from ice or snow and ice or snow if you consider them they themselves are very cold objects especially at the north pole and the south pole so how do you think that an igloo can actually protect the eskimo from cold the question is that how can snow protect someone from cold and we are going to answer this question so let us find out how we can answer this before that consider a very simple day to day example over here we have two cups of hot tea now in one of the cups we have placed a plastic spoon and in the other cup we have placed a metal spoon now if you keep these spoons in the hot tea cups for a while you will notice after a while that when you touch the plastic spoon you are not able to feel any noticeable change in temperature however if you touch the metallic spoon you will find that it has become significantly hot so what can we say we can say that metal is allowing the conduction of heat through itself whereas plastic is not allowing the conduction of heat through itself so thus we define conductors of heat conductors of heat are substances which allow heat energy to pass through them easily as we saw in the previous case the metallic spoon allowed heat energy to pass through itself easily so it is a conductor of heat any metal in fact most metals are good conductors of heat you must have seen that your mother uses utensils which are made of metal to cook metals like aluminum iron copper are usually the metals which are used to manufacture these utensils why because these metals are good conductors of heat when food is kept inside them these utensils will ensure that heat energy is absorbed more and more and thus food inside them will get quick get cooked easily and quickly so just like there are good conductors of heat there are bad conductors or insulators of heat in the previous example we saw that the plastic spoon did not allow the passage of heat through itself so clearly it was an insulator so what are insulators insulators are substances which do not allow heat to pass through them easily notice that insulators do not allow heat to pass through them easily so such substances are known as insulators or thermal insulators a wooden spoon is the example of a thermal insulator because even wood is an insulator of heat in other words it does not let heat energy pass through it easily so now we consider a general case in general wood cloth air pure distilled water are bad conductors or insulators of heat all liquids except mercury are insulators of heat why because mercury is a metal and all gases without any exception are insulators of heat that is all gases and there is no exception to this so now we come to our first question that is how is this structure that is an igloo that is made of ice being able to protect someone from the cold now to answer this question let me tell you an interesting fact about the igloo the igloo is usually made up of ice or snow that is almost 2 to 3 layers thick that is this structure is made up of 2 to 3 layers thick snow or ice now when this is being constructed by these many layers in between layers there is a lot of trapped air now we saw that air is an insulator of heat why because it is a gas so the trapped air 
in between the layers of ice serves as an insulator of heat. So it is due to this that people who are inside the igloo are able to stay warm because the trapped air acts as an insulator of heat. Now we consider a video where it is demonstrated that even ice is an insulator of heat, just like the ice used to construct the igloo was. You will notice that the top of the ocean is a very thick layer of ice, which is also known as the ice bed on the top of the ocean. Because ice is an insulator of heat, it does not allow heat to escape the ocean to the surroundings. And this is how marine life is able to survive underwater in cold regions, namely the Arctic and the Antarctic.